What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be reacting to a college horror story animated by Llama Arts. This one is a pretty short one, short and sweet today. Nothing too long. Uh, original video link will be down in the description. I hope this one's as scary as the last. Let's get into it. It was an early morning. My campus didn't offer housing and I lived about a half a mile from school, so I started my journey as usual while playing on my phone. I glanced up to see an old man heading towards me on a bicycle. Normally, I'd step aside to let bikers and skaters pass, but he braked instead. I stopped too, wondering yeah, bro, if there I was something too. wrong. He walked up to me and said, Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, I felt not, chills bro. That's what you instantly, the other side of the street, I didn't know what to think. I just looked up at him with a fearful and confused expression. I was gathering up the courage to tell him that I was late for class and I should go, but before I could say anything, he said, Get off the grass! Nigga, what? Looking down, I noticed I had stepped over towards the road and onto the grass. I stepped off slowly like and the said, fucking sidewalk You police? wouldn't want to step on any bugs or get your shoes dirty now, would you? Nigga, you he look like a bug! He raised his finger and asked me what my name was. I told him, and he replied, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. The same chills ran through my body again, but before I could say anything, the man said, Get off the grass! What is you with this nigga? You wouldn't step on any bugs or get your shoes dirty now, would you? Bro, I'll just start walking, bro. I looked walking, down bro. to see that I was back on the edge of the sidewalk again. This had to be deja vu. He asked for my name once more. I said my name again, but he interrupted me before I could finish. He told me his grandchildren are down the road and needed gas money. I told him I didn't have any spare change or any change at all for that matter. He continued to ask me again and I gave him the same answer. Eventually I headed towards my school. I turned to see if he was still there, but he was gone. Nigga, what? As I was walking I approached the intersection. There was a truck on its side. It must have tipped over while turning the corner. Ah. Oh. Nigga, fuck no. What? Huh? If you um, want to help support the channel, okay, that was just for his. That was just for his brand. Okay. Um. All right. I honestly don't even know what to say because it's just like. Nigga, he was talking to a ghost. Like, what would y'all do if, like, y'all ever, like, thought y'all was talking to somebody and then they, it wasn't who you thought it was? Like, that, not even who you thought it was, just, they just wasn't real. Like, that'd be fucking crazy. That's some creepy shit. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. But, if you guys enjoyed the reaction, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to be doing another stream on my homie's Twitch on Thursday, so be there for that. Um, and yeah, just come and support, bro. Like, I'm just streaming on his shit because he, he been busy. So I was like, fuck it, why not? And I would have streamed on both, but he's partnered and I can't do that. So I was like, I'm going to just post a video. So yeah, we're going to do this. Stream on Thursday. Be there. Y'all still going to get a video on Thursday and Friday. But yeah, stream on Thursday. Be there. Uh, original video link will be down in the description. Code Criterion in the item shop and I will see y'all in the next reaction. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing